Hello, my name is Caitlin with Les Palm Dog, and today I'm here with Mac, as well as my assistant Abby and her partner Coco, and we're working on some loose leash walking in the patio. Now, as you can see, we got two dogs together, and we're going to be working in the patio just because one of the biggest distractions you can ever add to a dog's walk is another dog, and we want to make sure that both dogs are very proficient at walking before we start working outside, but there are a lot of distractions that could interfere with the walk that we cannot prevent, like the scent of other dogs. So what we're gonna be doing is walking up and down the patio. As you can see, we got cones dividing the room, but we've also got an added challenge, which is that there is some food on the floor that both dogs are gonna to have to avoid, as one of the rules for a polite walk is that there's no sniffing on the ground allowed. The other two rules that we're gonna keep an eye on for both dogs is that there's gonna be no pulling allowed and no dragging. And we always start with the dog's name and then the command. So it's gonna be Mac, let's go. Now, like I said, we're starting the dogs inside because we really wanna make sure that they both are able to walk successfully with another dog in the room without any distractions. Once we start moving outside, there are a lot of distractions that we have to work against, like the scent of other dogs, grass, trees, anything else that's in the environment. Whereas here, we're able to control the environment and start working our way up to that level of distraction. Come on. See, both dogs are doing really nice. I love the focus that Coco's giving Abby despite the fact that she is walking right over some pieces of food, Max doing really good as well. Come on. And you see Abby and I are just using some noises just to help the dogs around those turns, but they're both doing really nice. Come on. Good job, Mac. Really nice job. Come now there was a distraction off screen and you see both dogs did look, but the big thing is that they didn't stop the walk. They just continued on walking and returned their focus to their handlers. That's exactly what we want to see whenever we are working with dogs. We always want to see them offer that eye contact instead of offer their attention to the distraction. Come on. Really nice job. Now Abby and I are going to switch sides. So now she's on the left side, I'm on the right. Doing really nice. Right here, Mac went right over a piece of food and didn't even pay it any mind. That is amazing. We're gonna go ahead and do a couple more laps. Come on. Nice job from Coco. Look at that pacing. That's so good. Come on. All right, we're gonna make this final turn up ahead. And now to stop with our dogs, we're just gonna say their names and then take a couple extra steps. So in my case, it's gonna be Mac. Yes, good boy. And you see Mac offered a very polite sit and Coco stopped very politely for Abby. Overall, this is an excellent practice session with both dogs. They did a really nice job walking politely, even with the distractions. And like I said, this is a perfect stepping stone to walking outside. Overall, really nice job from both dogs. Let's go.